Ja. <laughs> All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks, Ali. Yes, I have the new Unity Catalog t-shirt. Um, yep. <laughs> You'll be able to get one soon, I think, somewhere. So. Um, all right, so I have a you know, somewhat uh, longer session for you today because I'm talking about um, uh, governance with open source Unity Catalog as well as data sharing. If you're familiar, we have another open source project. We launched Delta Sharing that's really making waves in the open uh, data collaboration space. Um, and um, and uh, we have a lot of exciting announcements around that. So I'll start by talking about what's new in Unity Catalog and what it means to open source it, why we did it, what's in there. Um, and then uh, so Ali announced that we're open sourcing it yesterday, but he let me keep one more thing to announce today that, that I'll talk about. That's the next uh, di big direction for Unity Catalog. Uh, and then finally, I'll switch gears to sharing and collaboration, and we'll have some cool demos of all these things too. So let's start with Unity Catalog. So I think everyone who works in, in data and AI knows that uh, governance, whether it's for security or quality uh, or quality or compliance, remains a huge challenge for many applications. And it's getting even harder with generative AI. There are new um, regulations being written all the time about it. I heard in California alone there are 80 bills proposed that regulate AI in some form. Um, and also, you need to really understand where your data is coming from if you're going to create models and deploy them and run these applications. So we hear things from our customers all the time about how they would love to use AI, but they can't really govern it with uh, you know, their existing frameworks. And even on the data space, it's complex enough. Even there, all the, all the rules are changing, and people are really worried about how to best do it. So we wanted to, to step back and um, think, you know, it's 2024. If you had to design an ideal governance solution from, from scratch today, what would you want it to have? You know, we, we asked a bunch of CIOs. And we thought you, you really wanted to have three things. The first thing is what we call open connectivity. So you should be able to take any data, any source that's in your organization and plug it into the governance solution because no one's going to migrate everything into just one you know, data system over time. Most organizations have hundreds or thousands of these. So you really want a governance solution that can really cover all this data wherever it lives in any format, you know, even, even in, um, in, in, in other platforms. Then. We also really think you need unified governance across data and AI. I think it's clearer than ever with generative AI that you have to manage these together. You know, you can't be managing AI without knowing what data went into it. And also, all the output of AI, you know, as you, as you do serving, uh, is going to be data about how your application is doing. It's got the same problems of quality and security. So we really need it to be unified. And then finally, um, we heard everyone asking for open access from any compute engine or client, uh, because there are so many great uh, you know, solutions out there. Uh, they'll keep coming out. Uh, they'll be the next data processing engine, the next machine learning library. You want it to work with your data. So this is what we're building uh, with Unity Catalog, especially with the open source launch today. So first of all, open connectivity. Unity Catalog on Databricks ha ha uh, uh, you, and Databricks as a platform uniquely lets you connect data in other systems as well and process it together in a very efficient way through this feature we call Lakehouse Federation. So you can really connect all your data and give users a single place where you set security policies, you manage quality, and you make it available. Um, it also is the only um, governance system in, in the industry, really, that's unified governance for data and AI. So since the beginning, since we launched this uh, three years ago, we had support for tables, models, files, and we're adding new things as they, uh, new, new concepts as they come out in the AI world, like tools, which we talked about yesterday with the tool catalog concept for Gen AI agents. And for all these things, you can get these capabilities on top, ranging from access control to lineage to uh, monitoring and, and discovery. And finally, um, one of the, the big things that is possible today through the open API and open source project we just launched is open access to all your tables uh, through a wide range of um, applications. I'll talk more about that in a bit. Uh, but the cool thing here is, again, it's not, not just data uh, uh, systems like DuckDB, but also a lot of the leading machine learning ones like LangChain can integrate with Unity Catalog. Um, and since we launched this, uh, it's, it's been extremely widely adopted. Most of our customers use Unity Catalog now, um, and some of them are managing tens of petabytes of data on it, like GM, or have thousands of uh, active users, like Pepsi here. 
So I'm going to briefly talk about some of the new things, some quick announcements in each of these areas, and then we're going to see a demo of how all these things fit together, uh, including with the open source project. So let me start with open connectivity. Um, so I'm really excited today that to announce GA of Lakehouse Federation, the ability to, to connect and manage um, external data sources in Unity. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. So th this is yeah, this is a feature that we uh, launched uh, last year, a year ago at Summit. Uh, it it builds on on Apache Spark's unique ability to combine many data sources efficiently, and it lets you mount these data sources in Databricks, set governance rules on top, and get the same experience managing quality, tracking lineage, and so on uh, as people work on them that you get with the uh, you know with with your Delta tables in there. Um, and it's been growing extremely quickly. We now have 5,000 monthly of customers. And if you look at that graph of queries on Lakehouse Federation, it's still growing exponentially. Um, so we see a lot of customers that can finally bring all this disparate data, which is a reality in every company. Uh, you know, as much as every data vendor would love you know, for you to have all your stuff in, in one system, it, it's just not the case, uh, and actually work with it together. Uh, and another really cool thing that we're announcing is Lakehouse Federation for Apache Hive and Glue. So if you've got an existing Hive Metastore or Glue, you've got lots of tables in there, you can now connect that efficiently to Unity Catalog and manage the data in that as well. Uh, and that's rolling out later this year. Um, so very excited about this. I think it's a, it's a defining feature of, of, of um, Databricks as a data platform. OK. So what about unified governance across data and AI? There's so, so much happening in this space, and uh, our team has been working hard to launch a, a whole range of new features here. So I, I, won't, you know, I won't even have time to go through all of them, but uh, just in the past year, we've got everything from AI-assisted documentation and, and tagging to a lot improvements to lineage, sharing, uh, monitoring, um, and, and so on. Um, and I'm just going to, to highlight two, um, two announcements here uh, around ABAC and around Lakehouse uh, monitoring. Um, so first, Lakehouse monitoring is going GA. Um, so Lakehouse monitoring is the ability to take any, any table or machine learning model in Unity Catalog and automatically check for quality on it. Uh, there's a lot of built-in quality checks, like are there a lot of nulls, you know, has it stopped being updated, and so on. Plus, you can do custom checks. And the great thing about this, since it's integrated into the data platform, we know exactly when the data changes or when you know, the model is called. So it's very efficient, uh, and it does all this computation incrementally. Uh, and it gives you these rich dashboards about quality, you know, uh, uh, classification of the data discovered, and so on. Plus, all these reports go into these tables, so you can just query, you know, programmatically see the quality of your entire data and AI um, sort of estate there. Um, so that's going GA today, um, and um, uh, sorry, I, sh I should say that that's been uh, that's already uh, that's also be already in use at thousands of customers. Uh, and then the second thing that we're, we're launching a preview of soon is attribute-based access control. So we've developed this policy builder where um, and, and tagging system where you can set tags on your data at any level in the catalog. You can also will also auto-populate tags based on um, uh, you know patterns of data we discover, uh, and you. You can um, uh, then then propagate you know these, these masking policies across all of them, and this works easily through the UI or through SQL. So these are just two of the things. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. And then the you know last but not least, uh, the, the thing I, I'm probably most excited about um, is the, the the launch of open source Unity Catalog and open access. So a lot of people asked me yesterday, why uh, why are you open sourcing Unity Catalog? Uh, and really, it's because um, you know customers uh, want customers need it. Customers are looking to design their data platform architecture for the next few decades, and they want to build on an open foundation. And today, even though you see a lot of cloud data platforms that claim you know, support for openness in some way, when you dig into them, they don't really truly uh, um, you know, um, uh, follow through on that. So there are a lot of cloud data warehouses out there, for example, that could read tables, say, in, in uh, Delta Lake or Iceberg, but most of them also have their native tables that are more efficient, more optimized, and they really nudge you to use those and to have your data locked in. 
And then there are other platforms, even some of the lake platforms, where um, you know it seems like hey, everything's in an open format, but you have to pay for always on compute and pay a high fee if you ever read it from outside the engine. And customers don't want that. Uh, everyone is saying they want an open lake house where they, they own the data, no vendor owns the data, without lock-in, and where they can use any compute engine in the future. Um, so we've, you know, we've, we've been big fans of this approach for a while. We think it's where the world is going, so that's why we design uh, everything we do to support it. Um, and already today in Databricks, you know, all your data is in an open format. There's no uh, concept of a native table. Uh, we also pioneered this cross-format compatibility last year with Uniform, where all these ecosystems of clients that only understand Apache Iceberg or Hoodie can still read your tables. And the next logical step is to also provide um, open source source catalog. Um, so this is what we have uh, in the first release of Unity Catalog. Um, we'll, we'll be you know, gradually releasing um, uh, the, the things that we built in our platform and, and, and um, you know, removing all the dependencies on, on Databricks code and putting them in the open source project. But even in the first release, we, you'll be able to govern tables, unstructured data, and AI. Um, and we're really excited. Uh, we proposed the project to the Linux Foundation, and it's been accepted this morning, so it will be there. Um, yeah, thanks. And, and then another uh, cornerstone of Unity Catalog is we're doubling down on the cross-format compatibility approach. So even the first release uh, implements the Iceberg REST API. It's, it's one of the first you know, open source catalogs that, uh, that implements uh, this, this format. So you can connect to it from any engine that understands that. Uh, and we hope that means that a lot of the, uh, the ecosystem out there will work with it. All right, so you might be asking, you know, is this for real? When are you actually releasing it? Maybe in 90 days, maybe 89 days, because Ali announced it yesterday. Um, I'm just going to walk over to my laptop right here. <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is Unity Catalog on GitHub. You know, looks, looks solid to me. People are working hard on it. So just going to go into the settings here. Scroll down to the danger zone and make this thing public. Yep, I want to make it public. I understand. Make it public. All right, and I think it's public now. So, yeah, take a look. So, github.com Unity Catalog. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, so that wasn't that hard. And of course, we, you know, we invite all of you to, to contribute. We'll be working hard to expand the project. And we want to do it all in the open. We're not going to keep it uh, you know, closed for, for a while uh, to build this stuff up. Um, all right, so yeah, uh, it, is, it is now available. My slide is right. Um, so th we just released version 0 0.1. Um, it's th this version supports tables, volumes for unstructured data, and AI tools and functions. So it implements that tool catalog concept we talked about yesterday, has the Icebook support. And if you look at our website, it's gonna, it has open source server, APIs, and clients. And these work just as well with your instance of Unity Catalog on Databricks. So everything built there, you, you can just connect to your current data. Um, we're also really excited to have a great array of launch partners, uh, everywhere from the, um, uh, you know, the, the cloud uh, vendors, uh, some of which have been contributing a lot to, uh, to open standards like the Iceberg REST API already, uh, to uh, leading companies in AI uh, and in governance. Um, so Microsoft, AWS, Google, uh, they're, they're all excited to see this happening. And we hope to work closely with them uh, to, to um, you know, contribute to Apache Iceberg as well, uh, and to help define the standards for this so customers get the interoperability that they want. Um, and then, OK, sorry. And of course, there is a lot more coming. Uh, we're working on uh, bringing a lot of the, the, the nice things you have in, in Databricks and Unity out here, um, including delta sharing, models, MLflow integration, views, and, and other things. And we invite you again to, to, um, to collaborate with us. So that's kind of an overview of Unity Catalog, some of our launches in there. It's great to hear about them, but even better to see a demo. And for that, I'd like to invite Zishan Papa, one of our product managers, to show you through all these new features.